The following video contains criticism and commentary of a satirical nature on another content creator. The commentary is meant to be educational, comedic, and scathing. Fortunately, in the United States, the country of this video upload's origin, the use of copyrighted material for the purpose of education and criticism is still perfectly legal. It's called fair use, bitches. So suck on it. Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the best woven guitar, bag, and camera straps on planet Earth. And now the best is even better with a new line of hand-woven Maya Serape straps with USA Organic Herringbone Hemp backing. Get 10% off when you use the link in the description. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey, how's it going, fillies and fillers? Brad the Guitologist here. A couple weeks back, I did a video on this guy. This is... Uh, the name of this channel is Restoration and Metal. <laughs> so I did this reaction video where this dude was, he pulled this guitar out of the dirt and long story short, he just did an absolutely horrendous job of restoring this guitar. I thought it'd be interesting to check out his newest video. This one is a Another restoration, this time on a Kenwood cassette deck. The name of this video is Restoration Kenwood Cassette Deck X76 Antique. Like rescue sound equipment, rusty restore. <laughs> so yet another instance where we've just got all the keywords in the title. I mean, he must be, he's on to something because he's got a half million views on this fucking thing. As of this taping, it has 7.8 thousand upvotes and 1,000 downvotes, which to me is just appalling that this many people think that this guy is legit. Um, I just barely opened up this video. I watched like the first 30 seconds of it enough to know it's, yeah, this is going to be another disaster. I read some of these comments and the first comment that's pinned, it says, people who are shouting fake here don't understand anything about electronics. No wonder people throwing away so much good stuff today. Big old components can stand a lot of stress. Anybody remember throwing their old cell phones in the toilet or from the rooftop as a kid and they still would serve with no problems? Well, personally, I don't remember that and that, that wasn't even all that long ago. And if you were a kid whenever you're... And there were cell phones and you're not even that old. So, uh, anyway, I, I very seriously doubt this person knows what he's talking about or any of the 7.8 thousand people who have upvoted this know what they're talking about. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe this time he has uh, done a little better job than the last time when he screwed up a perfectly innocent <laughs> classical guitar. Let's, let's, let's check out this antique cassette deck. So once again, horrible... Horrible music, Casio keyboard music. I'm probably going to mute most of this because I have no idea who owns the rights to the music and I don't want to be dinged because of some music. But uh, just interesting, we got another situation where he's going out and, you know, wherever, the rice paddies or the, you know, the river bottoms or something. Uh, I guess some place where they're dumping a lot of garbage there in, in Asia uh, because they can afford to just dump good stuff on the side of the road, I'm sure. But he just wa he rolls up and pulls this thing out of the weeds, <laughs> just like we saw with the guitar restoration video, which has two and a half million views to, to date, by the way. Two and a half million. So again, he's on to something. But he just stops in the middle of nowhere. And just like, okay, there's a there's a bunch of trash by the side of the road. And I guess he just spotted this thing with his eagle eye, you know. Oh, I'm just rolling in my car, minding my own business, when suddenly, with my eagle six million dollar eye <laughs> I spy I spy this completely rusted dirt ridden fucking thing off the side of the road over here <laughs> oh and he's he's I was like I wonder if the rest of it's over here because literally you know the top is off of the thing but whoever dumped it was courteous enough to dump the two pieces like within feet of one another so that happens all the time I know when I'm scouting for things to restore for my channel that just happens a lot. <laughs> all right, here we are onto the familiar blue desk where all the carnage happens. I mean, look at this thing. I'm going to pause it right there. Look at this thing. It is just caked, caked with mud. 
There's so much rust in this. I can see I can see both of the belts are present. How is something that has been exposed to the elements the way that this thing is supposedly has? How are the belts supposed to be present even? I could see rust, what appears to be at least, rust on the uh, the capstan motors. Both of them are rusted. I, they would have to be rusted solid. So it'd be really interesting to see what he does with this. So look down inside of the mechanism there. And once again, just caked with mud and everything else. Looks like somebody just took a mud mud pie and just slathered it. Like the kids, he gave it to his kids for a couple days and they just had fun, you know, slathering mud all in it. I mean, you're going to have... You're going to have each and every one of the adjustment pots inside of this thing. All the calibration is going to be way off. Supposedly, it's been out in the muck and the weeds for long enough to, you know, look like this. I guarantee you this dude's going to take a water hose to it any any minute now. Any minute. Or where's the wire brush? Come on, wire brush. Any, anybody want to vote on what he goes to first? Is he going to go with the old trusty wire brush? <laughs> or is it going to be sledgehammer, wire brush, or uh, water hose? <laughs> just vote down below. Which is going to be first? Or guillotine. It could be guillotine as well. Just, just, oh, oh, called it water hose. Water hose. <laughs> now, one thing I did notice when I was reading the comments, it was like, you guys just don't know electronics. You don't know that electronics could actually survive being washed. And it's, it's true. It's true. Like solid state electronics like this and stuff, you could wash the stuff for the most part as long as you're not pressure washing it. And as long as you let it dry you know, thoroughly before you try to plug it in or something, you probably be will be okay. That's true. So this isn't egregious yet. You know, even though and I should I should give you a little background on myself. In case you're new to the channel, I do electronics, uh repair, restoration, uh and the the like. I and mean, you can see a lot of uh, videos that I've done in the past. You can go through my playlist and see all the uh, electric guitar amplifiers that I've repaired and gone through. And even some, you know, cassette decks and things like that too in the distant past. So I'm no stranger to this sort of thing. I'm not an expert on cassette decks, but uh, still, we should be able to see enough here for me to know whether something is legit or not. <clears throat> I did also notice in the... Oh, here we go. Here's the trusty hair dryer. I mean, this wouldn't work. He's he is washed. It has been it has been washed off with water, uh, and it's it's not just you know he didn't just lightly spray it. You know, it's basically almost been submerged in water. This thing, so that's going to be inside of the motors. It's going to be inside underneath the board. I mean, you can't just come come in and blow dry the thing and expect that it's going to be dry enough immediately for you to be able to plug it in or anything like that. So. Hopefully he doesn't try to fool us with that one. Also, some people in the comments were like, hey, check out the serial number on it. I'm not sure if I could see it. They said it was the same serial number, though. Maybe you guys can see that. Uh, I really can at the mo cannot at the moment. I don't know. Some of the comments were saying it has to be the same. It has to be the same machine because the serial number is the same. Then I'll just I'll take their word for it in the comments. But some other people pointed out too that that he actually could have filmed it backwards, so he could have actually taken a brand new machine and filmed the clips that were supposed to be the after <laughs> clips. He could have filmed those first, and then you know then put the mud in it and filmed all the restoration stuff up to the reveal. So that's possible. But honestly, I wouldn't put anything past this dude from what I've seen so far of this channel. I've watched two of his videos. One of them was a uh, supposed sewing machine restoration that he just found in the muck. The other was a guitar restor restoration that he found in the weeds. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, are you seeing a pattern here? A lot of these uh, Southeast Asian videos too. They they uh, also f mysteriously just find animals like like they'll find a kitten, you know. Oh, in the middle of the video, I was just restoring this thing, and suddenly I heard something, and it was a, it was a bunch of puppies. <laughs> 
Look at all these cute puppies. Oh my god. I mean, as if you didn't have enough of a reason to comment already, here's a bunch of puppies. It's a whole litter of them, and they need a new home. <laughs> it's just like, oh man. The formula, though, that they, that they stumble on on these things is just is really astounding. Okay, so here's our first indication in that this is absolute BS. Because what do you notice about the chassis down there uh, underneath this board? You notice that the chassis is, is clean where the board sat. So there's no mud or muck or any of that shit underneath the board. It's just in the places where the board wasn't. So you think, you know, this thing's sitting by a river. It's not going to get mud up under the board. It's just going to be everywhere the board wasn't. The board sets up off of the chassis probably about this much in all of these electronics. So there's space there for mud to actually seep up under the board, but yet it, do it hasn't done that. All right, let's look at it a little more closely here. Okay, you see each one of these little, like, see VR1, uh, VR2, VR3. See those little pots right there? Every one of those is crusted up. It looks like it's had mud shoved down in it. Um, I mean, it still isn't clean, even though he's taking the hose to it. You can still see the mud there, so those are going to be dirty as hell. You can see these little uh, bias adjustments. There's one there. There's an L2 up there. That's some kind of a coil as well that's adjusted, probably a slug or something in it. It would need to be really cleaned out with some electronics cleaner. You can see a lot of these connections ha still have mud and stuff on them. They might even be uh, corroded. But see those output transistors right there, How the, the heat sink, how caked with crap that is. Once again, in spite of all that, there's the belt just sitting there unharmed <laughs> so here we go again back to his mo of taking every single thing apart i don't know what he's going to do now is he going to take every single thing apart here and use is he going to take his wire brush after each individual piece now or is he going to soak it in some kind of solution but here we're back to the uh each individual thing into a tray Some markings there on the bottom of the chassis. I don't know, that might come in uh, useful later. We can compare those, I suppose. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That tape mechanism right there has had it. I mean, honestly, that has fucking had it. If I I don't care if if I never listen to another tape again. Like, if, if I had a huge tape collection, I was on a desert island, and this was the only tape player that I had. I probably would just write this off. I mean, look at this mechanism. It's an absolute disgrace. I mean, he must have taken it out there and left it for a month. At least. He's probably, this dude's probably got garbage like all over Southeast Asia. Like just waiting to go pick up again. <laughs> He's got like stashes of garbage that, you know, it's just like, oh, it should be a time about time for that reel-to-reel -reel recorder to be fresh. Let's go get it. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah. That one's out in the rice paddy. <laughs> you know, I'm all for trying to salvage stuff too, so don't get me wrong. You know, I, I, I would much prefer somebody salvage something than throw it away. But, I mean, this thing is like, this is a lost cause. And like so many, so many people pointed out in the comments, man, you can get these at Goodwills for like 7 to $10, you know. Tape machines of this kind of quality, you can get it at that price. So it's not... Uh, it's not rare. It's not antique. It's not even all that old. It's probably from the 90s, early 90s, I would say, just judging by the style. Okay, so you can see how just nasty and corroded the top and the bottom are. And I'm guessing he's going to whip out the wire brush on those, if not a grinder. Okay, here comes the display board. I don't know what the purpose of taking the doors. I mean, they're plastic. Just wash those. I think your uh, strategy of just spraying it down was probably a good idea for those. So this video is like 37 minutes long, so I'm, I'm going to keep the pauses to a minimum here so we're not running way over time. And we'll probably edit down some of this too, I'm sure. But if you want to go see the entire video, I will link the video below. I mean, if you want some punishment, if you're into sadomasochism, 
<laughs> you can go check it out by all means feel free <laughs> I mean, like I said in the last video, I think I'm just going to start doing this. I'm just going to start showing each and everything I do. I'm just going to take every part, everything apart. It's like if I get an amp, it doesn't matter whether it needs it or not. I'm just going to take the whole son of a bitch apart. <laughs> down to the screw, you know what I mean? It's all of it. Just take it apart down to the screw, and we'll reassemble it. <laughs> Hopefully, in a configuration where it'll still make some sound. <laughs> I mean, look at the mechanism on this. Look at it. Look at the rust and shit on it. The the cap stand, the cap stand right there. Look look at the rust on the cap stand. That's not going to transport a tape without I mean, you're talking about warble and wow and flutter, you're going to get a ton of that. That's not going to transport tape. Not consistently anyway. I tell you what, if if that if that tape mechanism right there comes out like shiny and new, you know this is absolute bullshit. Because look at it, it's actually it. You can actually see it. I think that's like a zinc coated steel or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like like a with some kind of zinc coating or something on it. And the coating has bubbled. You can actually see the bubbling in that coating, like especially along the edge of that little middle bit right there. You can see the bubbling. Of that outer coating whatever it is that's coated in so I mean that's gone you're not gonna get that back and it's gonna leave a mark if you try to get rid of that yeah man these video mills uh, is what I like to refer to them as because that's basically what they are they're like video mills and they all band together too like they'll go comment on each other's stuff so they've got all these different uh, people going out and doing these videos, but they also have agreements, I think, where they go and comment on each other's stuff and they like really support one another and try to get uh, everything boosted in the algorithms by using all their bot accounts. You know, they're basically just... It's, it's a big scam. I mean, fair play to him. He's getting millions of hits on his video. So, fair, you know, fair play. Who am I to say he can't do it? I'm not saying make a law against it or anything. I'm not even saying ban the guy. I'm just saying, beware. Like, if you're using this as a tutorial on how to restore something, first of all, you don't want to start with something this gnarly anyway because you'll just be wasting your time, energy, money, all of it. I mean, again, here we go with the belt. But look at the cap stand at the belt. That's the cap stand that the belt is wrapped around. Look how rusty that is. There is no way he is restoring that to a standard where it's not going to be just completely screwed and those motors will be frozen he'll have to repl he'll have to order new motors there's no way he can use those motors i'm guessing we're going to see a lot of edits we're going to see a lot of cuts at the time when he's supposedly putting this thing back together reassembling it we're going to be seeing a lot of cuts during that part because i very seriously doubt he's going to reassemble anything i think he's going to take clips of the of the disassembly process like I don't know. I don't know exactly how he's doing it. Or he gets a second machine. As some people pointed out, that's a, one way he could do it. You can film the supposed reassembly, you know, after you've restored the thing. <laughs> really, it's just a completely new machine that you're reassembling after you've disassembled it. If you're clever enough with editing, you could make it look like, uh, yeah, oh, I just totally restored this thing. See, that's the piece. He is not going to get that back. To, he, there's no way. That piece right there, there's no way. What is this? Is WD forty? So he just saturated it with WD forty, and apparently he took the rest of it apart. But see, once again, here we are with the. Why are you even? Why would you bother popping that off of there? Why would you even do that? What's the point of that? What are you hoping to achieve? Okay, well, this is the uh, motorized wire brush here. Yeah, you see, did you see the orange peeling in that? See, even after you take the, the rust and stuff off, there's going to be orange peeling all on that. There, it's, that's not going to return to mirror-like finish. 
no matter what you do at this point because the coating is gone off of it. And here we are once again with just this meticulous disassembly and this is just this is part and parcel of these style of videos. Oh, I thought he was taking the <laughs> I thought he was taking that thing to the uh, to the head. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna be rest restoring this thing down to the screw level, huh? He's gonna he's gonna sit here and wire wheel each and every screw. Now this piece right here. Pause right there. Now you can see what I mean. I mean he's already been to town with this wire wheel, and it's still not coming completely clean. There's no way he's gonna get that completely clean, and I bet you by the end of it. I bet you we see it completely... Just judging by some of the comments that I read before I started this video, I'm thinking this dude's going to replace that piece with a brand new piece. Now here we are with a Dremel. I don't know. I can't tell what kind of wheel he's got on that, but it looks like a, it looks like a sanding wheel. No, maybe not. Maybe that's not what he's doing. Okay, so fair play. At least he's not trying to pull a fast one and say that that's a brand new piece. Because you can see, you know, like I said, you can see where the the coating is worn off. Disassembling and reassembling something like this is an exercise in extreme patience and diligence because there are so many tiny parts to one of, to one of these. I'd be very surprised if he even got it all back together properly. I mean, the thing is, too, you're, did you notice, like, the the camera, there's actually a cameraman. The camera's moving and zooming and stuff. So somebody's actually standing here this whole time filming this dude doing this rather than him having a tripod, you know, set up where you could see what he's doing. I mean, there's actually two people in on this. It's, it's, it's a conspiracy. But so far, I mean, at least... He does at least appear to be, you know, restoring it to some degree. At least now, still, it looks like the same mechanism. I've just got to see their end result because, I, you know, if it's anything like his last couple of end results that I've watched, you know, and I don't want you to think I'm just picking on this guy because I'm, I don't feel like I am. I, I feel like this is an educational thing. I'm showing you guys, uh, what not to do like don't do what this guy does to some of the stuff he rest restores you know so far it this one is not nearly as bad as the guitar one was i will say that so far i haven't wanted to gouge my eyes out quite yet Although that's a giant soldering iron. It looks like he's got no flux that he's using whatsoever. He's just using the old solder, so there's no solder. What's he supposed to be testing here? Continuity of a wire that you can clearly see? I mean, what's... I don't understand that, really. I would be more concerned with the fact that... that there is no way that's the same... Yeah, that can't be the same motor. That motor was trashed on the back. Well, at least he's using some flux there. Why are you coating this in... Oh, no. Okay, so he's coating his connections in hot glue as an insulator. Uh, just for the record, that's not that's not what you do. Oh my god.
I always cringe when this guy pulls out anything resembling paint because it's just, I mean, flashes of that guitar come back into mind. You know, this isn't so bad. Washing some plastic parts is perfectly fine. Wash, by all means, wash the plastic parts. What kind of cleaner is that? What is that, brake fluid or something? What is he spraying on there? I mean, I would hope that it's contact cleaner. But something tells me it's not. If he's taking a hair dryer to it, it can't be contact cleaner. What are you testing now? What's he te What's that going to tell you? That is, there is no way he spray painted that top. You guys remember the spray paint job he did last time, the paint job? There is no way this is the same guy and that he painted that. That looks like it's factory. Yeah, I'm looking for this to come out. Okay, and somebody was pointing out, okay, see the scratches on the front doors there on this? Some people were pointing out that those scratches magically disappear. At some point. So I'll be looking for that to happen. Does it have the pitting? It looks like that piece at least had the pitting. This bottom doesn't though. This bottom doesn't doesn't have any problems like I would have expected. Yeah, that's definitely the same board because you can see the uh corrosion. Is that his paint job? Man, he sure did a better way better job on that than he did that last thing. Maybe it's just the fact that it's metal. Because it's restoration and metal, after after all. <laughs> if it was restoration and wood, you know. There it is. The scratches are gone off the front door. Somebody was right. That's not the same machine. And if it is, they are absolutely right. Look at that. The scratches are gone from the back. Look. <laughs> compare, it to the, compare it to the beginning of the video. After he washes it. There are some gouges and scratches that go through the paint and are actually turn that pe that white. And those are gone. Those are just gone, mysteriously. The scratches are gone off the front doors. This dude filmed the end before he fucked it up and took it to the, <laughs> to the muck. This is unbelievable. A half a million hits and 7.8 gullible suckers think that this dude restored this thing to that qual that level I mean it just it's it's the deception of it that bothers me it's not the it's not the entertainment value at all you know I, the entertainment value is fine it's just that it's just the deception of it it's just silly you're giving people a false impression of what can be done I mean look at that that thing's like brand freaking new right there. There's no scratches in the front door at all. I would say, without question, this was filmed. Look, yeah, the scratches are mis magically gone. Oh, holy shit. Come on. 7.8 thousand thumbs up. And you get these comments. I'm just going to pause this. Let's read some of the comments, shall we? <laughs> this guy, it's interesting to see how all the scratches on the front just magically disappeared. Yeah, isn't it just? <laughs> now he's gone too far. Fake as hell. Unsubscribe due to being a fraud. Well, you didn't realize this beforehand? <laughs> In my eyes, you are a genius. If you can fix that, you can fix all. Brilliant job. Total respect to what you're doing. Restoring and breathing life back into something once broken and unloved. What amazes me is how the bloody hell... Does one remember where everything goes when reassembling it back? 
<laughs> How did you manage to paint the backside and, and reprint the labels so perfectly? <laughs> I thought this one was impossible. You've certainly got some skills. You are a god, sir. <laughs> Come on. Amazing. If it is real, you need to be long-time experienced professional engineer or Kenwood prior employee. It is almost unbelievable you know all mechanical parts assembly, where it suits and how it goes together, as well as electronic circuitry. It needed to be a long way to bring this device back in life. Thanks. I mean, just, you have to be an absolute friggin' tool, really, to write something like that. Wow, truly unbelievable. Yes, it is. It's absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> well, let's see what this thing sounds like. I'm dying to know. I mean, look at it. Look how mint it is. Look at those shiny, brand new front doors that with no scratches on them whatsoever. I mean, I know that you could do that. You can buff out some scratches, but to that level, I'm not so sure about that. And in the back, the back is what is the is the kicker for me. And knowing this guy's paint job skills, you know, there's no way he painted that chassis. No way. Well, that door suddenly works a hell of a lot smoother than it did five minutes ago. Of course he listens to this kind of music. <laughs> of course, of course this is his jam. <laughs> what else would you expect? He's <laughs> like a dong ding dong ding 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 dong ding dong. Uh, I don't know what I expected, like Ted Nugent or something. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> that was probably about it, though. I guess that's about what I expected. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, that's awful. The, the other uh, real deceptive thing they're they're gonna do. They're gonna. They will have copyrighted that music, you know, like one of their clan will have created that music and told them all to use it in case somebody uses clips out of the videos and does what I'm doing, like a reaction video. Then they'll be able to claim my video as well, you know, and that they tried that the last time. I'm, I was telling that story. I think I, I cut myself off, but yeah, they tried that last time and I actually won on fair use grounds. They tried to claim my last video that I made and, uh. It's like, no, thank you. This is the U.S. We have fair use here in this country, guys. Sorry. What in... What on earth is this music? What is this? This is like Chinese polka. <laughs> it's, it's what it, it really is. It's like Chinese polka or something. I don't know how to describe it. I've never been so stumped by a musical genre before. <laughs> no, it's almost Russian, isn't it? It's like it's like Russian. I don't know, man. Or like Mongolian polka or something. Now we're at the circus. The Shriner Circus suddenly came to town. <laughs> but yeah, man, so that's the end of that video. I, you know, absolutely ungodly unbelievable. Uh, it's just, dude, if you believe that this dude just restored that to that level, I have some land to sell you. Seafront property in Arizona. I mean, really. That's the, come on. But apparently there are like 7.8 thousand just absolute and utter retards walking the planet who believe that shit. So, 
you know, once again, I think uh, I should just start screwing up all the stuff that's brought to me for restoration or for repair. And we'll just do this from now on, and I'll just split the money with you guys, because it's not going to matter. I'll make it all back. Anyway, that's going to do it. hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all later. Until this guy makes another video. <laughs>